uh, today I'm going to uh, execute calibration on the uh, IntelliGro autodoser sensor which is the pH and easy so as you can see here is the monitor so before we proceed on the calibration steps we have to prepare first everything like uh, pH for 0.0 uh, pH 7.0 and then EC 2.77 so including also the distilled water which we are going to use to wash the tubes before we do the calibration so uh, I prepare a container for each one so here is the bottle of uh, the EC so this is the what uh, is the water uh, EC solution this is the pH 4.0 solution and then this is the uh, 7.0 solution okay so I think uh, this is all for this part and uh, for now since the probe is installed in this tank we have to uh, take it out and then do the work cleaning we will check how dirty the probes are and then maybe we might use a little bit like brushing the steps we see how okay so let's start with this uh, pH probe now I am getting it up there it is so this is the pH sensor so I think maybe we can just uh, clean it wash it on the uh, distilled water which is this one so maybe we can get the tow sensors which is the pH and EC so here is the EC so we will clean at the same time so the calibration will not be interrupted later we have to clean first both the sensors okay so let's check it out yeah so i think you can see much dirt on it so i think we can just directly wash on the uh that distilled water and then we'll proceed on the calibration okay so we will proceed now to the uh, calibration of the express so you need to set into the calibration interface which is within here below the menu there's a press button here you can just press this one and then on the up and down arrow you have to choose the calibration uh, just press the do arrow down then there you are we are in here already so uh, we just press enter and then uh, since we will be doing first the PS calibration so let's go with this first and then we just press enter and then there so you can see first thing to uh, use what buffer we need to use first is 7.0 so this is the calibration solution which is uh, this one okay so 7.0 so now uh, let's just dip into the uh, container but I cannot reach so I just go this way because this probe is actually installed already in the tank so I cannot pull it out because the cable is very short now i just hold in this way for me to uh, calibrate so as you can see uh, the figure is uh, going up so we should have to be uh, getting 7.0 or at least near to that maybe 7.01 7.02 7.03 i think that should be fine but now as we can see we can we are still uh, seeing that it is still 7.17 so the thing that we are going to do we need, we need to use the arrow down uh, 
Hold on first. Ah, uh, yeah. So we need to use the arrow down, which is this one. Let's press down this to uh, set it to 7.0. So it's either you let long press it, and there you can see it's fast going down. Okay. Too much. Uh, so the point. It's hard to set because the uh, the figure is uh, fluctuating. Why it is fluctuating? Because uh, the water is moving. So I, and there is a vibration on my hand. So that's why. You cannot set it exactly to seven point zero. Now we have to go to the next step, which is four point zero. So you, as you can see, we need to use the point for four point zero calibration solution, which is this one. But I need to wash first with distilled water. So distilled uh, water. So I will take. So here is the distilled water. Now I will wash it. Sorry, I cannot show it to you guys because. Okay, so now there. I'm doing myself with myself only, so I don't have any assistant. So nobody will help me here. So I have to just do whatever I can. Okay, so after washing this, uh, let's proceed to the uh, 4.0 solution which is this one again hold on so I just dip inside and there you are okay so we need to check again on the uh, monitor which is we are gazing right now 3.12 3.09 and then okay hold on i put in here so i think i can take video so it will very hard if you are just alone okay now we are already going below 4.0 so like the same what we did just now we just use the arrow up to increase the value to set it to 4.0 so let's just uh, long press this and then there we can see that the numbers are increasing going upward oh too much so we need to be careful to at least set nearest to the uh, required calibration range which is 4.0 Oh no, it's too much again. Okay, so now we can see it immediately so it, it won't move. So we just uh, press OK so that the new settings will be saved. So the calibration for uh, PS is done. So next is our EC. But let me get first the probe. Now I have picking up again the EC sensor so as usual we are going to uh, wash this just the same like what we did just now okay so uh, yeah so this is the distilled water so we need to wash it and then try to check if there are some debris or dirt on the sensitive part of this uh, sensor so I think it's good to go let's just wipe it off those uh, water okay so now I'm going to take this uh, 
solution for easy but let me set first the monitor on the easy so this is pH so we just scroll down and there you are we can see it's easy and then we just press enter again and there, there you just or we just put inside the solution uh, calibration solution which is the easy 2.77 okay so as we can see there the number is going up until we reach the 2.77 and then we save again okay so oh it's going up it's already 3.0 there so i need to adjust it but i don't know how to, where to put this okay hold on i need to put here i think yeah so just maybe oh my gosh almost Okay, so I try to set it. Oh, just nice, seven eight. Okay, I just save it. Okay, then that is done. Okay, then just save them. There, and then that's it. A calibration for easy and pitch is done. Thank you. Uh, by the way. I just want to share something regarding on the uh, defective probes so I have successfully uh, calibrated all the eight probes in all the tanks but I noticed there is one which is like uh, defective not sure of this so need to check with the supplier so how are we going to identify the defective uh, probe so I'm gonna show you again one tip how we could be able to uh, identify the defective probe. So I noticed something wrong on this uh, PH probe. So actually it cannot be calibrated. So I will show you how. So it's the same method. So we just try to wash on the distilled water and then uh, we need to yeah we just wash there and then set into the calibration interface uh, okay so pH so now as we can see on the top part it's saying there 7.0 but you can see there the number here is very low it's 3 point something even I will dip into the uh, solution which is 7.0 okay so I will get this probe pH probe and now I will put into the uh, pH 7.0 so it should have uh, reaction or what I mean the numbers should change it should go up until it will reach the 7.0 so there you can see I put into the uh, 7.0 solution so let's go back to the monitor and there you can see it's very far and it's not moving fast up supposedly I should go up to 6 point something slowly and then it will reach to 7 point something up but in this case in this uh, one uh, one machine I noticed this pH probe is not really functioning so if I will try to uh, adjust it I want to increase the number to achieve the 7.0 there so unable to calibrate meaning to say it's giving uh, the, the system is giving some tips how to check or to consider why we cannot able to calibrate so buffer solution is PS7 yeah it's correct buffer solution is fresh yes that one is newly bought number three electrode is clean yes i clean it i check also those um, possible uh, dirt or any debris and then i clear it i clear it off and then number four electrode is in good condition so yes 
definitely yes. Now, I suspected that previously this has been an issue, so uh, I will try to inform the supplier to check on this because all the all the rest of the probes that I have calibrated only this probe that I got issued. So this is how we can. This is one way how to identify the uh, sensor is defective or is something maybe they have to uh, uh, fix in the system or I even uh, plug this out here I disconnected but it's still the same nothing changed so I prefer to like inform the supplier to come and check on this if not they really need to change the PS sensor yeah so that's it thank you